And good a day, Dano friends, and welcome back to Build a Tycoon for Treasure. Yes, I realized I haven't made a video about this game in a little while. Um, so I wanted to show my latest updates that I, most of which I didn't put into the game yet. Uh, I'll put them in the game. Maybe I'll put them in the game now, actually. But I wanted to show you some of the some who don't come to the stream what I've added. And also, I feel like I really want to wrap up this game. Uh, I really wanted to just make a tycoon, just for the sake of making a tycoon. I didn't make this game to become like popular or anything, so it was supposed to be just a short-term project and it ended up taking a few months because obviously I get carried away, I always do. I don't think I'm good at short-term projects, just like I'm not good at short videos. This is supposed to be a short video, look at the bottom, you'll see how long it is. It's probably like super long, I don't know. Okay, so first of all... When you first get into the game, I added a little screen that says Disclaimer, this game is approved by the owner of build boat for treasure and tested by some of its devs. It is true, guys. Zag actually played my game. Uh, Craig also played my game. Chill, I don't think he has the, had the time yet to play the game. But he did say, I trust you uh, that you're not going to like, I don't know, try to steal build boat for treasure. Which I'm not trying to do, of course. Uh, also, this is my first time making a tycoon, so please be nice to me. I made this in uh, Photoshop. I drew it myself. Isn't it funny? Here it is. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong picture. Hang on. Don't look at that. Don't look. Don't look at that. Here it is. No wait, this is the wrong picture. Either this one is in Build a Boat for Treasure, where we put a mustache on Jesse. Jesse didn't play the game yet. Maybe he will. Maybe he will try it out. Uh, here it is. Zag in the game. Uh, I just have some screenshots. In case you didn't believe me, okay? You probably believed me. You probably believed me. Uh, Krieg, I didn't see him in the game. He sent me a DM on Discord. I kind of have a rule where I don't screenshot, where I don't share DMs with other people because, you know, it's supposed to be private, so... But he did say it. I promise. I promise. Okay, so basically another thing that I changed was that I had it so that if you... Before you can even start doing the tycoon, you basically have to touch the flag. I was going to change the model to be like the one from Build a Boat for Treasure. Um, you have to touch it, and then it goes up, and then it goes here, right? That's kind of how I had it. But people kept not understanding that and missing that, and then they would go here to start the tycoon. And they'd be like, oh, I cannot do it! And then I put this big sign that says, raise the flag to claim your tycoon. But... Yeah, basically, not only other players, but even myself, I kept forgetting it to touch the flag every time. So, I've changed it back to just the same way old tycoons do it. Where you just have a uh, touch to claim button right here at the start. I might even make it this wide so that you cannot go around it. Or maybe, like, a li leave a little bit of space. Just in case people don't want to be in the team that they spawn in. So they can walk around it and go to a different team if they want. But yeah, so that people don't actually forget to claim the tycoon, you know? So, um, oh yeah, I forgot if, I don't know if I said this, but this, uh, this screen is because I had the sign. If anyone remembers the previous videos, oh wait, actually I still have it in the owner team. So this, uh, screen, this little interface thingy that I made where it says this game is approved by the owner of the world for treasure, please don't sue me. Uh, basically... I used to have it as signs right here, right? Um, oh, this are here I did show the DMs. Here I did show the DMs, but I had to show it because people kept telling me... People kept telling me... You stole this game from Billboard for Treasure. No, 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 the maker of Billboard for Treasure told me I was allowed to do it. I was allowed to make a... It's just a fan game, guys. Okay. Uh, what else did I add? I added a bunch of things, I just forgot, because basically I added a bunch of stuff, then I went on vacation, and now I'm back, and I forgot everything that I did. Uh, I added a Dino of Good Fortune, I don't know if we had that last time. Um, I fixed a lot of very small problems, which took a lot of time, but you don't really see them that much. So a lot of things should work better. Oh, in the last stream, I think, did I get this to work? I think I got this to work. Okay, so the balloon, um, what was I saying? Okay, so well, the balloon uh, from Build a Boat for Treasure that I made so you can keep it in your hand. I always wanted it to be not from the start, but you get it when you unlock the balloon dropper. So even though there isn't really a point to making it 
only come from the balloon dropper it is kind of cool and also i need you guys to understand that this game uh not just this game but a lot of games um part of making this game actually the biggest reason for making this game is not to try to make a big famous game but to l just get better at making games you know so it's basically like a training so there's a lot of things that i try and sometimes i figure them out and then i learn something new sometimes i'm not good enough yet i'll talk about that in a little bit and then it's fine as well i'm just not at that stage yet and i will be there in the future you know anyway so i've been messing around with it and i think i finally got it to work the balloon in my hand you can see it it's called balloon tester that's because I'm, i can i'm gonna delete this version even though it looks the same but the tester one is just i'll delete that one so now once you do the tycoon all the way up to this part you unlock the balloon okay please work please everyone is watching please work there we go i get the balloon I got the balloon. You have to equip it a few times before it comes to you. <laughs> it spawns really far away for some reason. Um, and then... Okay, I think I made it so that you don't get the balloon twice. Yes. Okay, so basically I de was dealing with this for like an hour. Like, every time after I took the got the balloon, for some reason the button after it's pressed was still touchable and invisible. So I walked over it again and I got the balloon a second time. And I was like, no, I want people to get the balloon one time. But I finally got it to work. Look at this. I have the balloon, the real one, only one time. The tester one, of course, will be deleted. So, yeah. It's just a little detail. It's not going to be like, whoa, the biggest update ever. But it's just fun to, when you get things to work, when you get a little bit better at the game. Um... So yeah, I, uh, the game, as you guys know, is now in the beta. So just for those watching who, ha don't, who haven't completed it yet, um, make sure to complete the Tycoon at least one time for the beta uh, badge and title. As you can see, I have the alpha tester. If you never played this game before, you cannot get the alpha anymore, I'm sorry, but you can still get the beta tester badge and title, which will probably be gone uh, not too long from now because I really want to wrap up this game and do the original release. Um, so make sure to complete it. Basically, you have to do the entire tycoon. It takes like 15 to 30 minutes. I don't know exactly how long. And then when you get the last badge giver, you get the beta tester badge. You have to touch it, and then it will show the badge. Obviously, I already have it, but I have the alpha too, so it shows the alpha. I don't know. Did I have t titles in the last video? I don't know how long it's been since I last made a YouTube video about this. Okay, so I made a um, title system, or well... Obviously, with the help of tutorials on YouTube and stuff. Uh, basically, if you're not in the in my Roblox group or anything, or and you've never played this before, it will say guest. If you're in the Roblox group, it will say your Ro my, your title in my Roblox group, like your rank, which is usually friendly Dino by default. Um, if you have completed the game, it will give you that title. I don't know what what I will name the title for the not beta, but the, 1.0 release i guess it will be just be like tycoon or something i don't know maybe it will just be like royal member like can build a boat i don't know i think i want it to be something different maybe um dino tycoon no nah, i don't know i don't know i'll think of something that will be the title but if you do it now and you get the beta tester badge before it goes away you will get the beta tester title and that one is in dark blue, actually. I want it in dark blue. And if you've done the game, thank you so much. If you've also tested the game in the alpha, then it shows the alpha. So that's the order <laughs> from lowest to highest. So it's going to show the last one I said first. Okay. Anyway, let me talk a little bit about what I do want to do. What I still want to add to the game. Um, there are a few things I want to complete. The biggest one, and I'm not sure if we can do it or if I can do it, is saving. It would be cool if you can just leave this game if you have to go and then come back and you still have the money. Um, I've tried a few days and I just cannot get it to work. I followed tutorials. I even got some help from Angel. Angel really uh, knows a lot of stuff and he made games before that save, but for some reason he struggled with it as well because this game... Um, hang on, let me show like this screen. This game already, somewhere in the settings, it already has saving and it kind of interferes if you want it to save because it doesn't fully work or something. I don't know. 
I don't know exactly what the problem is. I've tried for a few days. So maybe this is going to be... Oh, wrong screen. Hang on, I need to click this one. Maybe this is going to be one of those things where I have to say, I'm sorry, I'm just not good enough yet. One day I'll get there because I'm going to keep trying to get better at making games. Um, and thank you for watching these videos as well, because... I want to make more uh, YouTube video series about making games. I just don't know how to make it into a video series. That's pretty hard to like translate that into a video series. But yeah, basically right now, I don't know how to make games save. As soon as I learn it, I will come back to this game and add it, of course. Uh, but right now, I just don't know. So I'll probably try maybe one more day. And if I just cannot get it to work then sadly you're gonna have to do the tycoon in one go don't worry though as i said it takes definitely less than uh an hour it takes like 30 minutes if you afk a lot and then you come back you'll have a lot of money and you'll be able to complete a lot um let's see what else do i still want to add oh i want to make the buttons easier to find not really the ones where you unlock the tycoon they are just around here so you can find them really easy they just go like this and then like this but after you complete the last button here you have to go all the way over here to unlock the badge giver so some people might not even see it or mi might miss it um i've been messing around with how do i make it more visible so I've been uh, trying things with like um, particles that didn't work because it showed the particles before you unlocked it. So when you start the tycoon, there's just random particles flow flowing, floating, floating around. Um, yeah, so I'm still working on that. Also the one, also all the buttons for unlocking the level. So like the walls, this button is here. Then the next button is, I think, all the way over there. Then there's going to be one all the way over there. So that's pretty hard to find for people who've never played it before. So these specific buttons that aren't part of the main conveyor, I think I want... I don't know. I want to make a way to make people be able to find them. But I don't know how to make it yet. So I'm going to tinker with that a little bit. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um... Make the balloon drop or gift the balloon gear. We did that one. Yay. <laughs> we did that one. Congratulations, everyone. Um, I also want to do before the full release. I do or after full release. I do want to make a few simple decorations. Right now, the plot is very empty. Two things I want to add is a boat, of course. Um, if anyone wants to help with that. Wait, let me show you. Let me tell you about the other one first. And a an obby so an obby in the style of build a boat just a simple short one that looks as if someone made it in their plot and build a boat and if you make it to the end maybe you get some bonus money or something um and um also like yeah when i say boat i mean just any boat that looks like someone would make it actually if it looks kind of like a beginner boat from build a boat for treasure you know like like a pile of blocks like some like people often make as their first boat in build a boat for treasure that would be kind of cool and it would be like consisting of multiple parts and then you just step on the buttons to unlock the parts and then you unlock the boat you know it doesn't actually go in the river by the way just to be clear but yeah that's um that's what i still want to add so if you actually have an idea for that or you want to help you can build them in build a boat for treasure or in roblox studio and send me a screenshot or model link um in the discord or in the comments but i'm going to make those uh, let's see then we'll probably have the full release I still don't know how to make it safe. I'm going to try one more time. Otherwise, I'm just going to leave that for later for in the future when I'm better at making games. Um, oh, yeah. Droppers on the tiny plots. A lot of people have said this as well. People said you should make plushie droppers and we could put them here like the pink one. Well, Jesse likes pink. So we could put Jesse maybe here L like we put a dropper that drops Jesse plushies or something. Obviously, that would have to be a chill throw uh, plushie dropper, etc. That would be kind of cool as well, I think. And after we have the droppers here, there's no more room. So we might have to make another floor. That would be really cool. If we actually made another floor in the future. But yeah, let me know what kind of ideas you have. And if you're in the Discord, we have a special channel in the Discord for this game. So if you have any ideas, make sure to join the Discord. And just give your ideas there. 
because that's the best place um so an obby i already set that and make it safe okay so that's everything that i have in my mind right now um as i said i'm only going to work on them a little bit and if any of these updates i just cannot get them to work then um i'm not going to like give up permanently you know what i mean like i'm just gonna leave it at that time and come back when i know how to do things a lot of times people have told me like oh if you stop working on something you give up but i'm just a beginner at roblox studio i'm not that good especially at some things i don't know anything about it so i don't think it's bad to then just move on and learn other things first that i'm better at and get better at those things and eventually i will learn more things and then i can come back I've done this in the past several times and for me it's just the best way to do it it's kind of like when you have a test in school and you don't know the answer to a question instead of just keeping thinking about it and wasting time on your test you might run out of time you know what they always say just skip the question for now and come back to it later after you're finished with the test it's kind of like that <laughs> that's what i always used to do in school and that works definitely do that if you're still in school definitely if you have a test and you don't know the answer to a question um save it for later because you might know the answer to all the other questions and otherwise you will run out of time okay well i think a lot of people already do that but basically i'm applying that to roblox studio i just don't know everything yet there's no need to be like um mean to myself about that i don't know how to do everything i don't know how to make games safe that's okay that's not bad um i don't have to learn it today it can be in the future maybe in the future i'll run into like the perfect tutorial someday who knows you know like why stress over it now when in the future i'll probably find a much better way for it Okay, I don't know. I keep talking about the same thing. I don't know if people understand what I mean. But basically what I'm saying is I'm not giving up. Any feature that I'm not adding now might still be added in the future. Probably will be added in the future. I still do this with a lot of my other games. Where I learn new things. And then I go back to some older games that I made. And I apply them there. And that's just a fun way to do it. Anyway, I think I've said everything there's to say. Um, all these updates are not in the game right now yet. At least the latest one, because I've only added them to this plot. So, of course, I basically add everything only to one of the plots. And then I just copy-paste the plot and put it here and here and here and all the other plots. And then I just change the color because then they're all white. And then I change them all to the right color. So I still need to do that and I just put it in the game. So yeah, I only need to do a few more things for the beta. Then we're going into the official release. We might try to get like people like Chill and Jesse to play it. People like that if they're interested. Anyone who likes to make build a boat videos. Um, and streamers. Okay, well, whatever. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Green Thunder and Carl, for sponsoring this video. If you also have any extra money lying around, look at the floor right now. Do you have any extra money? Any? I have a Patreon if you want to donate. But if you don't have any money, that's okay. You can still help in many ways. You can like, subscribe, uh, share it with a friend. If you know anyone who likes Build a Boat for Treasure, they might like this video. Um, all that stuff. All the good stuff. Everything you can do. It's in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stomp. Like an answer. Stomp. So I cannot stomp because I'm, fl I'm a floating body right now. I'm a floating soul. How do I stomp? Like this. Stomp. Stomp. <laughs> stomp. Stomp. <laughs> I don't know. How do I stomp in this? Alright. Okay. Uh, okay, bye. Okay, bye.